Hello and welcome guys, this is I play 4 k Alex Moroz Productions and in this video tutorial I will go ahead and teach you how to use the Photoshop the main two features which is the layers and masks if you're going to learn how to use that you will compose your images like a pro and it's simple to do uh, I decided to go ahead and do the example of the animating of the car from standing still to a motion so you're gonna learn how to from this image to create this image and uh, put easy I'm, I'm going to go ahead and supply you two images down below in the video description go ahead and download it and let's go ahead and get going guys let's go ahead and click file I'm assuming that you installed the Photoshop go ahead and Google Photoshop you can download the Photoshop for free from adobe.com website please use adobe.com website which is the original uh, website that produced the Photoshop because other website can give you a virus so use the adobe.com website which is safe download the Photoshop for 30 days trial you can use it for free they're not even going to ask you your credit card information go ahead and click file open select the folder where you downloaded those two images which is the smoke and the Ferrari go ahead and click on Ferrari and open the Ferrari in Photoshop it's gonna create the layer background right here as you can see at the left at the right button corner right click on it somewhere on the right on that layer and select duplicate layer click OK let's that eye you can enable disable see that icon disable that background eye on the background copy double click on that background copy two times and name it uh, original like so use lower camel case which is the lower uh, letter first a word and then uppercase word another and another it's a uh, lower uh, uh, camel case in the programming language and you know just because you're IT you're a graphic designer digital artist still in IT go ahead and use the writing style in programming which is called lower camel case which is nice and after a couple days come back to it you can easy to read it and stuff like that great uh, re readability and stuff like that original photo like that and capital for the second and third word and stuff like that all right I don't like that angle of this car so I'm going to rotate it a little bit click on that move tool right here make sure your show transform controls right here is selected like so when it's selected you're gonna see those boundary boxes put your mouse over here when you're gonna see that symbol and rotate it about like so okay you can see that squared white and transparent squares background because the background is disabled which is fine then select this tool select tool click on it left mouse button and let's go ahead and cut the image the way we want it select it about so of the image your bounding box go to image crop and crop it like so okay we're going to work with this image like so now I'm going to go ahead and animate the car so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the original photo layer right button somewhere on the right of the layer select duplicate layer and I'm gonna name it um, blurry background mask so we're gonna create the layer and then we're gonna inside of this layer create a mask and we're gonna combine those two layers together in a smart way so we can if something gonna go wrong we can always go and redone it because it's a mask we're not gonna use any eraser tool so we're not gonna destroy our pixels here on the image we, we can easy to come back to it because we use we're going to use the mask and what is the mask I'm going to show you in a second guys go ahead and uh, name it blurry background mask click enter okay it's going to create make sure it's selected then go filter right here on top select blur and select motion blur we want to create the motion blur makes sense right guys because the car is kind of in motion something like that 90 pixels or 80 pixels will be fine I prefer something like 90 pixels so then we're going to put some accent on our depth of field in the end of this uh, tutorial and uh, it's going to look great about 90 or 85 okay and now there is a button right here in the bottom of the left uh, right bottom corner right button corner so it's a square and circle icon right here at layer mask click on it and you're gonna see the white circle will appear uh, which is the layer mask on this layer 
and click on the layer back on the image and click on that square white mask back see it's selected now we can work with that go to the left side to the brush tool right here select the brush tool okay we're gonna select the brush tool make sure your foreground is black background is white like I have like so if not click on it and select it like so so everything what is black which is I'm going to paint black will be transparent like a razor everything what is white will be enabled we're gonna enable to see it the way you're gonna spray the white if it's going to be soft it's going to kind of like a transparent image if it's going to be hard white you're gonna see it like hard like you can see it right now and the black is going to delete it soft black gonna delete just a little bit of the image but you can repaint it and always bring the details back which is nice um, idea and it's called masks in Photoshop we're gonna paint it black as you can see on that white square I'm painting black you don't see the black color but you, you can see it's going throughout to the second original full photo layer and I'm creating the depth of field as a photographer I want to create a nice composed image with depth of field like so and wheels kind of we're gonna we're gonna pretty much enable wheels all the way and we're gonna apply a different blur effect to it I'm gonna create another layer and another layer mask like that and I'm gonna keep it like that and blur it at level like that maybe on top I'm gonna a little bit enable our depth of field background is very blurry very awesome all right so we're done over here now I want to duplicate this image completely I'm going to click select and completely everything what I see on the screen with all the layers I want to duplicate into one flat image edit copy merge okay here we go and then I'm going to edit paste you can use the shark keys during this video tutorial I'm not going to use the shark keys so it's going to be easy to follow guys it's created layer one after you paste it click on that layer one two times left mouse button half of the second period between two clicks it's gonna select the layer one uh, name it name it uh, blurry new original let's let's keep it that way okay new original somewhere on the layer click on the right side click right mouse button duplicate layer a new original copy say um, blurry driver tire okay here we go it's going to be in motion but blurry so you will understand we're gonna apply some blur okay here we go what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna select over here the lasso tool click on it lasso tool and I'm gonna go around the wheel guys and a little bit about around the tire just a little bit but make sure I'm not gonna touch the car like so it's kinda hard tool you're gonna get used to it when you're gonna work a lot with that something like that you can do a little bit better okay make sure it's selected now I'm gonna go filter select blur and radial blur because wheel is going to go round blur gonna go round so it's going to be more realistic uh, amount I like to use 15 you can use any amount that you like like that and you can see it's and beautiful now it's beautiful this one is a little bit in focus but still blurry but the back tire is all the way blurry and the car is all the way blurry so you kinda put your camera and it's kinda in motion it's believable okay here we go it's done if you're gonna tell people look I just saw the Ferrari I took the picture of it when it was racing like crazy nobody will believe you that you started with the image that was standing still like that okay also let me go ahead and show you another example you can go ahead and click um, duplicate layer right click on the layer somewhere on the right duplicate layer click OK and uh, name it original the small letter so I started with the big letter original BNY BNY background let me show you how to create the color color and background background uh, background in black and white so we're gonna use 
another layer okay I just created make sure it's selected then go to image adjustment as again guys you can adjust you can apply any filters any effect to it but when you're using layers and masks you can kind of combine them together to create a beautiful composition this is the idea hopefully you understand that it's not about the car you can create with the person whatever you can dream of it can be black and white it can be not blue it can be something else but you understand the idea mask and layers this is the features when you're working in Photoshop brick by brick mask and layers mask and layers this is how they're building beautiful images it's, it's not done in 15 seconds it's done throughout the couple hours but you building the image brick by brick okay over here adjustments black and white I'm gonna click OK. All right, this is black and white. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on mask on this layer. When it's black and white, right here, uh, square with the circle at layer mask. Now I'm gonna use a paintbrush and in black I'm going to start painting. I'm going. I'm just going to paint black my Ferrari. Just not all the way, just a little bit, like so. Here we go, guys. everything else like so it's an emotion blur BAM that's it we're done guys alright guys and now I'm going to go ahead and create the smoke is again I'm going to apply the simple theory simple plan which is the layers and mask first of all let me go ahead and open the second image I'm going to click file open smoke Okay, here we go. Then I'm going to click Select All, Edit, Copy. Just because it has only one layer, copy is fine. We don't have an option copy merged because only one layer makes sense. Coming back to our Ferrari and uh, Edit, Paste. Here we go. We got the smoke. Okay, so smoke is coming out of the car like so car is kind of moving so fast and it's like beautiful like believable let's put it over here and um, call this layer layer one but call it smoke smoke okay and now a normal layer style we want to select and play with that dissolve just move your uh, third button on your mouse, that rotating button, or you can select it like color burn, what kind of different option, and see how the pixels blending into the image on the bottom. Screen, nope. Okay, color dodge is kind of okay. All right, color dodge add, not bad. This one is not bad as well. yeah let's keep it like black a little bit black um, let's keep it like like that go ahead and click right button on the layer smoke duplicate the layer okay uh, click visible invisible on that layer and go back to smoke layer just a smoke layer and what we're gonna do make sure everything is deselected click on that square circle add layer mask click on it and we're gonna go ahead and uh, start painting here you wanna delete all this black nonsense around this smoke and uh, we just wanna keep the smoke kinda go around it I'm using soft brush as you can see nice like so so we got some smoke coming out Rotate the smoke to the tires, some sort of like that, believable. Delete that smoke copy layer, we don't want that. Delete that smoke copy layer. And let's create one more layer, smoke. So it's gonna be harder, like so. So now it's believable, guys. Now we got burning tire and stuff like that. And maybe we can move even this layer, like so, a little bit. Just to make it believable, like that maybe 
come back to a layer mask by selecting that square, white square right here on the layer, on the right, that icon, and uh, using the the black brush, black color, maybe a little bit adjusted, too much black over here, we don't need that too much, like so. Here we go, we got some smoke, you can play with that guys. Anyways, I, I just got you an idea. I got your idea how to work with the layers and mask, guys. This is the the one of the key, the core keys of the Photoshop. And if you don't know how to use them properly, you will never understand the Photoshop. So hopefully, you understood how to use them properly during this video tutorial. Go ahead and hit that like button. And keep in mind, it doesn't matter if you're animating the car, human, or whatever. Just use layers and mask, layers and mask, and build brick by brick your composition alright guys hit that like button Alex M Alex Moro's production I play 4k what with you today I will see you till the next time if you will hit that like button